Hi, I'm Paul Keeley from Tony Keeley's. Welcome to our review of the Nuna Demigro. I'm a real fan of this product. I really, really like it. Um, why do I like it? Uh, it's one of those prams that kind of ticks all the boxes, which is really good. It's, um, it's also straight from the factory. In, so story on, I suppose, Nuna. Um, there's like four really big pram manufacturing companies in the world and, and Nuna is part of one of those. So the guy who owns basically one of these really big factories, a guy called Kenny, he has two daughters. One's name is Joy, so they've launched a kind of a mid-market brand called Joy. And then the other uh, daughter's name is Alana and her nickname is Nuna. So they launched a premium brand called Nuna. Um, and what because of coming straight from the factory, they've got like a, a factory mindset to it. So they put everything into the box that you need. So they give you the foot muff. They, so they include the foot muff in the package. They include the, uh, the razors. They include the car seat adapters. You're not having to pay for the extra stuff. But also, because it's coming straight from the factory, they've kind of cut out the middleman. So it's really good value from a price point perspective uh, with regard to some of the other brands. So I suppose let's get into our uh, review in, in detail. We'll focus on the frost one, which is the gray one. Um, so, so I suppose the first thing I really like about the Nuna is it's really, it's got a really nice high carry cup position. So one of the things I always harp on about is who's the main user of the product and then you buy your product for that main user. So again, in this scenario, I'm tall, I'm six foot. So for me to basically put my baby in and out of the carry cot, I'm not bending down at all. So that's really handy. So if you think for, well, sorry, I'm bending a fraction, but not much. So if you think, for the first six months, you wanna put your baby in there of the carry cut, because this is your downstairs bed. You wanna put your baby in there of the carry cut maybe 20 times a day. So you're lifting basically your baby who's going to range from say four pounds up to you know 16 or 17 pounds in and out of this carry cut all the time. So it's really handy to, at a nice height. So it's actually, it's essential that's a nice height, but this is at a nice height for me. And it's about making sure when you're buying your pram, that's at a nice height for you. So I like the Nuna because that's, it's at a nice high height. Um, so it has basically most of the other features that are, I suppose, the features that most prams have. So you've got nice adjustable handlebars, you've got a nice big basket. Um, the carry cut, the, the level of detail that Nuna have on the product is really, really good. So I'm just going to bring you in here just, just to show you some of the detail on the carry cut. So the carry cut, you have your normal zip apron, or, um, but in here we have a little, uh, I suppose, it's a, I suppose a private or a hidden pocket that you can put your phone and some of your your purse or your wallet and again it's just sealed by magnets so it's really nice good quality the other nice feature I like it's a really big carry cut but your carry cut has I suppose two covers so it has or two sides to it so it's sorry your mattress has two sides so you have the jersey cotton side but then you also have the aerated uh, fabric side so if you have a child who basically just lies face down you can basically put them lying on this side whereas you normally use just this side that's really Really handy some like ideally you always want your baby lying on their back but you can have a child who will just lie on their front so my my eldest would only lie in her front from about three months she'd always turn around and lie in her front and I used to have my dad say Paul you have to lie on her back you have to lie on her back and say well dad what do you want me to do she just keeps on turning around so it's great to have that option uh, again, you have a big carry cot and it's nice and ventilated, so you've loads of the air pockets here just to allow your child basically. It just makes it a really breathable fabric. So that's really nice. So um, how you use your carry cot, I suppose, or we, we'll continue talking about the carry cot, I suppose. Um, you've also got a, a breathable hood. So again, if you're in warmer climates, you can just pull this part up and it just makes it more aerated for your child, which is great. And then you also have a peekaboo blind so just in here i'm not sure if you can see but you have this little kind of hidden pocket we just pull this down and again these parts just come down and we have a, uh, a dream drape is what nuna call it and it just totally protects our child and again it's the detail because it's just here there's no fasteners it's just magnets so it's just really cool so i really like that it's small detail but it just makes a big difference just from an ease of use perspective so again, we have our adjustable, adjustable height handlebars, which is great. So it just basically means that um, you have it nice and tall, so you're not going to basically step your child. And that's really handy because this actually converts to taking two kids. Um, and because of the high handlebars, you're not going to basically uh, kick the second seat unit. So to take our carry cut off our chassis, just see these gray buttons here. We just basically push in like that. 
and we lift off. And because we're using two carry handles, or we can carry it like this, which is handy, or we can swap over and just use the one handle like that and put it down onto the ground. So we'll get rid of the carry cot. Um, we have a nice basket, a nice really big basket that comes with it. And this basket, again, has a, a pocket just here for our iPhone. So some details just there. It's just nice detail. And then we just take it out like that. So it's basically, it can be finicky to take out, but you just give it a yank. Um, and you have a nice big basket. And then likewise, you can basically just push this basket back up. And you have your zip in here for more stuff. If you don't want to take the other basket out, then you can just use this really big basket. So you've got plenty of... Uh, I suppose storage in the pram um, to collapse the chassis. See these triggers here? So we're just going to pull these triggers up and it just pushes down like that. And again, you have a really nice, um, oh, I'm thinking English has escaped me, fastener for the, the chassis that you can basically just release and pull out of the way. Some of the other ones get in your way, which are a bit finicky. It'll free stand like this and just to open it out. Just open it out like that, so it's nice and easy to open it. We've adjustable suspension, so you can see your suspension there. What does your suspension do? It just makes it more comfortable for your baby. So if you're going over a lot of bumps, you can just make it more comfortable for your baby. And um, so when you go over the bump, the baby's not being bounced all over the, the chassis. To adjust the suspension, you just turn these buttons up and down, and that'll just basically make, move from a softer setting to a higher to a harder or a stiffer setting and why would you do that when you you use a stiffer setting when you have a heavier child or if you have two kids on the chassis so we use it like that initially we're going to use it with our carry cut and we're then going to basically go and put our seat unit on it and we're going to use our seat unit for the next six months so you can see here we just have an adjustable seat unit we have it up like that but again there's just magnets here can i find my magnets yeah just like that and um, so you have a nice seat unit. It's a big seat unit, but you also have a nice liner on it, which is really nice. So kind of a bamboo liner, and that bamboo liner is basically part of your foot muff. Sorry, I'm not sure actually. Can I remember if it's bamboo? It's very soft. I think it's bamboo, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's nice and soft, so you get your nice foot muff. You can take your foot muff out if you want, or you can just use it as a liner during the summer. But the other nice feature of the Nuna seat unit, so I just spin it around for you here, is you can actually unzip the seat unit and it can go into a summer seat unit. So you have a much more aerated and summer seat unit. So you can use that for basically, again, if you're in a lot warmer climates, just here and here. So that can come out and it's really handy uh, from that perspective. You have a nice big hood on the pram. You have your basically uh, peekaboo window here at the back. You also have a, uh, through this zip here, we have a dream drape that's hidden away that will just come down and again just protect our child uh, from the sun and um, we'll just get rid of that. It's, the newness stuff is really good from that perspective. They're like everything that you need actually comes with it so you're not having to basically buy any you know, hidden extras which is brilliant. Uh, so our adjuster is at the back, so that lets us adjust the, sh the, the seat unit from lying in the, I suppose, the sleep position to recline position to the upright position, okay? Um, and then we will use the, the seat unit facing us from about six months to 12 months because we want to look at our baby. And then from about 12 months on, you'll turn that seat unit off just using these triggers here. Or sorry, you'll turn the seat unit around using those triggers, put it back down. And then you're gonna have your baby f facing away from you, basically interacting with their environment. Okay, again, really, really good. Um, I really, really like this pram. I really like it for a couple of reasons. Um, I suppose the first reason is just because it's coming straight from the factory, uh, everything you want is with it. So it's really good value for the parent when they're buying the pram. But I also like the finish and the detail on it that you, you're getting most of the things with it that you would need. So one of the really good things about the, the Nuna is that basically it works, um, it probably works better than any of the other pram systems on the market 
as a double. So this converts into basically taking two kids or to work for twins. So it's really good from that perspective. But one of the things I like, which is just a small thing, but it just works for me because I'm six foot, is you have these risers that come with it to use it as a sec when you're using it in the second, um, or if you're using it in basically with a carry cut at the front and, or sorry, with a seat unit at the front and the carry cut at the back. But they give you the risers for using in the double mode, but it allows you just basically put your carry cut on those risers from day one. And then basically goes back to the height of that carry cut. So as I said earlier on, I'm six foot and the carry cut initially was really tall, but by using those risers, I now wouldn't have to bend my back at all to put my baby into the carry cut. And that's just really, really smart. It's really, really clever. And that hiding height position, it's just, it's class. It's just, it's a really, really nice feature. And bar maybe the Stocka Explory, that's probably the only other system that is as high. So I really like it from that perspective. It's just practical and easy to use. And it's a great position for your baby to be in because one, they're closer to you. But then even when you go to the next stage, when your baby's in the seat unit, you can still use those risers. And now your baby's looking much higher at people rather than kind of looking down at their knees. It's just, it's just a much more enjoyable, uh, I suppose, riding position for your baby. Okay, I hope you like my review of the Nuna Demigro. Please pop back and basically see the review where I kind of compare the Demigro to the Vista um, and a couple of the others, say the Eye Candy um, Peach, where I compare them as doubles. So you can basically see, okay, we're just looking at this at the moment as a single pram, but where I compare them as doubles, so you can see kind of the features and benefits of each. Thanks very much.